Hey guys, welcome back again to my channel. So, by the way, before we start, how did it go with a 10 word pronunciation challenge? Do you think you're ready to compete in an English speaking world? Well, um, the reason why I came up with this next video is that previous videos would lead you and will gauge you how ready you are to really teach or work in, in an English speaking country like New Zealand. Well, just to let you know, when I was able to speak English well, it's not just an overnight success, but I really went through a lot of pain, embarrassment, bloopers, and lots of discouraging situation, but I did not give up. And now here in New Zealand, I'm teaching in a public school. And knowing that my students are native English speakers, it's really challenging for me because it's not English is not my native language, but here I am teaching them. So if you want to teach in New Zealand, you don't need this. These are my Philippine teachers license as a professional teacher. So New Zealand doesn't recognize it. What you need is this one. You need this one to be able to work in a public school and they call it practicing certificate card for you to be able to teach in a public school. Why is it good to teach in a public school? Because number one, the benefits are superb and fantastic. Number two, it can lead you to a quick residency. That means you don't need to worry about your next visa and you can live forever here as long as you want. Okay, cool. Now, if you want to know more about this one, please comment down below, shoot your questions and I'll try to answer them. And then, also before you can get them, you need to take an IELTS with a band score of 7 for each test for listening, writing, speaking and reading. And if you are interested more about it, please comment down below and we can figure it out how to do the IELTS lesson here. But I think I'll focus more on the spoken English. Thank you very much. See you.